I love my VidTrim app because it allows me to record in high def but send a smaller file for email and apps that send video. I can also trim my videos and merge several video clips in to create a single output. Okay, I've downloaded my VidTrim app and I actually have the pro version I've upgraded to. So it's currently on my desktop and what I'm going to do is select that. Then I'm going to go to the top left corner uh, and that one's 86 megabytes currently. And if we look at the uh, statistics here, the file size is 86 megabytes. It's currently 1920 by 1080. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into transcode, which is the purple button there. And we're going to select that and we're going to change the size of this video. And we're going to change it to 480 and medium quality. I'll show you, there's a pull down here with several options in there to change it to different sizes. Also, on the video quality, you can change it to low, medium, or high. Um, I recommend medium is, is pretty good. Uh, the size of the file goes up when you choose high, and medium is usually adequate. You can keep the original audio, or you can remove it. And you can also add an external audio to this using a selected app of your choice. So now that we have our settings all the way we want them, we just simply go up to the top and press the gear and it starts transcoding. Now we fast forward to the end and once it's completed, it will kick into this menu here, Operation Completed. You can play or view your details. Now that's completed, we're going to jump in and go to the file and check out what it looks like. So at the top there's a little uh, folder file and you can bring up your gallery from there and then the VidTrim Pro is the directory which the file is in we select that and as you can see the new size is 854 by 480 and then only 2.6 megabytes uh, still 43 seconds long so that's quite a difference another feature of this app is the trim feature which there are a lot of apps out there that have that um, it's nice to have this incorporated with the uh, transcode. Uh, a lot of apps don't have that. Most of them don't. So it's nice to have this all in one here where you can modify your video uh, in many different ways. So the next feature I want to show you is the merge command. It's the uh, green button there. Notice the video is 4.7 megabytes and 16 seconds long. So what we're going to do is we're going to press on the green merge button and it pulls up the current uh, video I have selected and now we're just going to press the plus sign and we are going to add a video pulls up the gallery we can go in there and select a particular video that we want so I'm just going to select a small one that I know of and it's right here so now it, you can see it adds the video. We got a 16 and a 17 second video. You go up to the top and select the save button and it brings up a menu and here I'm going to change the video quality from medium to high and then I'm going to do an export on this. So now I begin the export and I'm going to fast forward here to the end. It says operation completed. We can play or view details. Uh, let's view the details and you notice that the, the uh, size of the file is 8.4 megabytes and it's 34 seconds long so that's the combination of the two uh, videos together. If you have enjoyed this video and found it helpful please subscribe to my channel. Thanks and have a great day.